So it's been a couple of days since we've done a Palantir stock update, and I figured why not do one right now? It's currently about noon on the East Coast, and we have Palantir stock up over 3%. Now it's at, what, $16.90? And earlier in the day, it was over $17 per share in the midst of a slightly green day for the index as well, at least for the NASDAQ, the S&P, and the Dow. We have those up around a quarter percent each, roughly, give or take a little bit, as the Russell's down about 0.2%, and we have the VIX pretty much at break even, up a little bit, 0.3% in the green. So you guys know the drill. We're going to break down Palantir, the charts, and later in the video, we'll break down the indexes. So hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. And guys, you might as well follow me on X at Stocks Talk Stocks, link down below. And with that being said, without further ado, cheers guys to my empty coffee. Yeah, I got to re-up on this coffee guys. Cheers either way. And let's dive right into the video. So it's currently around noon on the East Coast right now, guys. And again, we're slightly green in the end indexes except for the Russell and Palantir is up over 3% right now showing a lot of upside throughout the day. You guys can see we opened up at around 1645, 1650. We saw an initial pop to about 1670 roughly. That was at about 940 a.m. on the East Coast. Then we pulled back. We actually took out the lows from the pre-market on this pullback right here from 1670 down to about 1640. And that happened at about 10 a.m. And since that point, guys, we've been taking off like no other guys from 1640 all the way up to 1703. We hit that in the span of 40, 45 minutes of trading. So it rallied about 60, 70 cents or about 3.8, almost 4%. And now since that rally to $17, we've kind of been chopping around between $16.85, $17. In other words, consolidating here on the intraday, guys. As you all can see, now we're waiting for the next move, right? What direction? Are we going to pick? If I pull up this channel tool very quickly, guys, you can see right here, Palantir again has been trading between $16.85 to about $17 over the course of the last hour and a half, two hours. Are we going to break above 17 bucks again and start making another leg up here or do we sell off under 1685 and maybe start going to the 180 SMA on the intraday chart at about 1670? Maybe it goes under that. What direction are we going to pick whether we dump under 1685 or we break over $17. And as of now, we're at $16.93, up almost 3.5% now. Looks like we're getting closer and closer to $17. Now, the million-dollar question is, do we break out of there, guys? Which is uh, TBD, to be determined, right? Let me set my alert now at $17. I'll put it a little bit above that, maybe $17.00. And five cents. Mark is at or above. And uh, yeah, again, we'll see if it does break that point 17, 1705. And we'll see if it ultimately makes another leg up from that point, which obviously would be really good for the bull. So we're looking pretty bullish on the intraday. Obviously, we're above the highs from yesterday. Let me see if we're taking out the highs from the day before as well. Yup, it looks like we are, guys. So now we're at a five day, five minute high on Palantir after hitting 1550 it looks like on Thursday or was that Friday of last week either way yeah I think that was on Friday of uh, you know this past week we hit 1550 now we're clearly uh, you know making some ground off of that low again fresh high here on the five day five minute and on the 20 day chart you guys can see uh oh now we're slowly starting to peak above the 50 SMA and the 180 SMA and 17 bucks again not only is a you know a big spot from today earlier today big resistance but it once was support let me show you guys this in the middle of uh, middle of December it looks like and the end of December yep you heard that right guys actually early January as well if I draw this trend line out you can see we held support at about 17 bucks all throughout uh, you know, the end of 2023, then we broke under it. Obviously, then it became resistance as we broke, uh, you know, as we broke that support. 
and now we're testing it yet again right here. Do you guys see what I'm talking about, right? So this is a massive spot for Palantir in the short term, and technically, I guess we're still in a downtrend right now. You guys can see lower lows, lower highs, and this could, for, you know, for all we know, be a lower high right now, but if bulls are able to get out of here, man, if bulls could break 17, 1750, and honestly, back into the 18s, that's where Palantir could really start to turn bullish again, uh, at least in the short term. And uh, maybe it starts breaking out towards 20 bucks again at that point. So Palantir is at a very big spot. Let's just put it that way, guys. Very big spot here where we are right now. And we're on the verge of potentially breaking out. And another thing worth mentioning here is we have an inverse head and shoulders. Do you guys see this right here on the one hour chart? You, you probably can see it as well on the 10 day chart, 30 minute chart. Uh, you can see here we have the left shoulder, the head, and then right here we have the right shoulder. You guys see that? So now again, we're testing 17. If that breaks, which is a big spot, we could see that right shoulder in this inverse head and shoulders start to complete. And again, at that point, we might fully be breaking out. Time will tell, guys. Time will tell. But overall, Palantir is looking like overall, yes, it's continuing the uptrend, of course, and it's fighting on the one-hour time frame to really start breaking out, which here on the four-hour time frame, you can see, okay, if we start breaking 17, we start breaking 18 especially, we could be on our way towards the top of this channel, which could put us anywhere from 20, 22 bucks, dare I say even higher than that. So overall, this still looks really, really good for the bulls. And clearly on the four hour time frame, the bulls are still in charge. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments on Palantir. And before we dive into these indexes, don't forget to get your 15 free stocks for Moomoo, guys. Use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Open up your account and fund it with your initial $100 deposit. You get five stocks and listen to this. Fund it with at least $1,000. On top of those five stocks, you get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And by the way, each of those could be valued up to two thousand dollars get on it guys get your free stocks for moo moo link down below or again go to stocksurfest.com slash moo moo get your stocks and of course that is an affiliate link it helps out the channel i appreciate you guys as always and with that being said cheers let's talk about the indexes very quickly here before we do wrap up the video. So again, we have the S&P 500 right now down. Actually, no, the Russell's down. Excuse me. The Russell's down a quarter. We'll talk about that in a second. But the S&P is up around a quarter percent. It's at 475 bucks per share right now, roughly. And we're, you know, we're trading above the 50 SMA on the four hour chart and we're bouncing clearly off the 180 SMA. And let me point this out to you guys right here. It looks like we do have a bit of an ascending triangle. You guys see this on the 30 minute chart. You guys can probably see it even better on the five day. Look at that ascending triangle clear as day, which could be getting, uh, you know, this could be getting ready for a move above 475. At that point, we might fill the gap to 477, 478. Then if that were to break, uh oh, all time highs could be coming right around the corner on SPY. So keep your eyes on that ascending triangle. And on triple Q, let me pull this up and show you guys. We're not noticing an ascending triangle on this, but we are noticing on the one hour chart here a clear cut reversal. We were seeing a death cross a couple of days ago. We were under the moving averages a couple of days ago, but now we're no longer seeing that. In fact, we're back over the moving averages on the one hour chart. We have a golden cross as well. So there could be more upside by the looks of it here on triple Q as well, which is awesome. And the Russell, which is slightly in the red right now, is uh, you know still battling at the moving averages on the one hour chart right at about 19 75-ish. Now we're at 1963 on the Russell. Uh, so let me set my alert at 1985. That's actually a big spot that I'm looking at. If we're able to successfully break out of 1985 on the Russell, maybe a shot back towards 2000, 2050, maybe even higher. That could be, um, you know, in the cards. But right now, we're just consolidating on the Russell, at least, as again, spies getting ready to maybe break out 
with that ascending triangle. And Triple Q's already above the moving averages, breaking out towards the recent highs. So what do you guys think about Palantir, the indexes, all that good stuff? Let me know in the comments. Hit that like button as well while you're at it. And don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. We're trying to get the 50,000 subs by the end of 2024. And of course, don't forget to follow me on X as well at Stocks Talk Stocks. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys later.